Okay, so this is our 2018 Mustang GT, the S550 chassis. And we're gonna show the front sway bar bushings and how they are actually bonded to the sway bar on this car. Now we make a big deal about making sure all the bushings that rotate can actually move freely and aren't, aren't, don't have any stiction, because that adds spring rate in, in, in weird ways. Uh, this sway bar is one of those that's the worst you could do. The sway bar is bound up enough that I can hang my body from it and it's, it's barely moving, so it's adding it's probably 100 pounds an inch. It could be adding as much as the springs on this car. It's really bad. So we're gonna put the white line sway bars on, which are bigger, but we're gonna free them up in the mounts and make sure that they rotate freely. All right, this is the base model GT, so it doesn't have probably the biggest bars, but it's pretty sizable. It's a little over 30, 32 and a half millimeters uh, on the front sway bar. And here's the white line bar. Let's see what this guy is. Oh yeah, 35.2, so good bit bigger, and of course it has the adjustable ends. All right, we got the white line sway bars installed on the Mustang, and uh, Brad added grease cirques, and it, it rotates much more freely than the OEM one did up front. All right, this is the white line sway bar on the rear of the 18 Mustang. You see the grease cirque we added there. Now the front ones say they are non-greasable uh, bushings, but we greased them anyway. The rears say definitely do grease them. Uh, so we did that as well, and you can rotate this with the end link off with pinky effort. That's the whole point. Free up all these bushings.